Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Uh, we will try to make this video short as much as we can. Who is Muhammad? Um, you know, a question, uh, usually people don't ask it, like who, who, is, who is this guy, Muhammad? So I will make a summary about Muhammad based on the Quran, not my own. And I challenge the Muslim to say where I did lie. Please your, leave your comment later, but you will see as usual, Muslims, they never make a comment about a topic because they have nothing to say. The only thing they will say to you, don't give interpretation by your own. We show them the interpretation of the Muslims, still they show us something else. They speak about like, don't give interpretation by your own. This is Muhammad. Muhammad is a man who want money, sex, power, and to be God. And I can prove every single word I said from the Quran. Actually, Muhammad himself, he made it clear. He said he's a terrorist. His purpose to make all mankind obey him, to be a king. And he been given the keys of all the treasures in the earth. The message of Allah, Allah pray on him, he said, I have been commissioned. This is the Muslim translation, commission. Hmm. With words which are uh, uh, like, you know, I don't know. You see the Muslims because they can't understand what what the Arabic is saying. I mean, it's it's funny what, what Muhammad he says. So they try to come with their own translation. Compress, comprehensive in meaning. I have been helped by terror. <clears throat> I've been had what? By terror. So how Muhammad get helped to be a prophet? Terror. Terror, like this is why some fool, they say to you, ISIS is created by this guy, ISIS is created by this government, ISIS is created. Yes, you know, government, they help a group to flourish, but ISIS is created by Muhammad. ISIS is Islamic State. And Muhammad, he made it clear, I've been victorious by terror. In different in different uh, place he said I've been victorious by terror from a distance of one month journey which mean people before they knew Muhammad is coming after them a month away they surrender this is how much terrorist he is now those things is not working no more Muhammad and his terrorists they can come after us from a distance of one day not one month uh, one hour not one 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 month one second and we don't fear them and while I was asleep, I was brought the keys of the treasures of the earth, which placed in my hand. So Muhammad saying to his people, or his slaves, I'm going to control everything. I want to take over all the treasure. Treasure here, not only money, it's sex, how we can see that. Muhammad, he made it clear that the first target is to make everybody a believer and how we can accomplish the, 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 the mission simply we attack them we force them we bring them like slaves and as a slaves and we force them to convert to Islam or die or live as a slave we are free to do with them whatever we want you are the best of people ever raised for up for the benefit of mankind chapter 3 verse 110 the best of for mankind those who bring them with the chains round their necks till they embrace Islam. So Muhammad, he made it clear, slavery is his way to subdue, to humiliate, to force you to become a Muslim or you stay slave until you die. And then a Muslim will say to us in the comment section, oh, he's lying. It's in front of you, this is Bukhari. It's your prophet saying that. Oh, he's lying. Don't believe him. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> how, how I'm lying. He's lying. And this is weak hadith. This is a Bukhari. How it can be weak. Even though weak is accepted. Actually, that's why it's called weak. Because it has a rank. Not because it's rejected. So, so Muhammad made it clear that his target to enslave by using terror 
you surrender, you became his slave. Not the slave of Allah. Allah is just a joke. It's just a, it's just a, like, a, you know, like to make myself legitimate. Okay, you know what? There's a God. And if I make myself God, that's so extreme, you know. But the fact he is God for the Muhammadan. If you say the F word to Allah, no Muslim will go after you to kill you. But if you say it to Muhammad, that is a different story. According to Islam, if you insult Allah and you became a kafir, you became apostate, they give you three days to repent. Three days. But if you do that to Muhammad, you must be killed even if you repent. So who's God? And then if you ask yourself a very simple question, who is this Muhammad? You see, you see some videos saying, who is John? Uh, John, it says there, who is his father? It says who is, etc. And even John, he present himself. Who is Luke? Who is Mark? This is what they ask you, right? Who is Muhammad? Just to show you the hypocrisy. Where in the Quran we can find who is Muhammad? Nowhere. Chapter 3, verse 144. I mean, look at this verse. This verse alone, if we can call it a verse made by Muhammad, is the most one of the most stupid statements ever about Muhammad. Muhammad is no more than a messenger indeed. And here between two brackets, they put many messengers have passed away. The fact this is a fabrication. And then a Muslim will say to me, hey, CP, this is why it is between two brackets, because it's not there. So why you put it there? All messengers before him, they pass away. So why they put many? Because that will make a contradiction for Jesus' story. Isn't Muslim believe that Jesus is still alive? So Muhammad here, when he made this statement, he got himself busted that Jesus pass away. Otherwise, you should not say, indeed, all messengers pass away. In Arabic, it says, قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ خَلَتْ means there's no, nothing left. All, they are dead. And if you change the translation, you will see a new Quran, as usual. You know, because every translation is a new Quran. Translation is the best way of corruption for any truth Muslim they practice. If you ask Muslims, which Quran you are going to accept? Hilali Khan, Bittal, which one? They will not accept any. Why? Because they knew not a single translation was made to be a translation. In fact, it was made to be a deception. Look at this. Muhammad is but a messenger. A messenger uh, between like the bracket like the like of whom whom have passed away before him <laughs> how he is passed he is how he is the like, like the what i mean where it, where it says that what the verse saying muhammad is nothing but a messenger all messengers before him pass away where the like of whom We change translation. I'm just giving you examples of how they fabricate. This religion cannot stand even a, a, an accurate translation. This is Bikta. Let us see a different one. Uh, which one? I don't know. This one. Community Allah? What is that? I never heard of something called Community Allah. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> Muhammad is no more than a messenger. The messenger have passed before. Look, so this one, this one is the community of Allah is better than translation of others. Muhammad is no more. Look, look how the translation changed. The verse changed. The words is 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 there is words is gone. Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Messengers before him or have passed before him. Pass what they die. And, and not here, messengers, all messengers, قَدْ خَلَتْ You see, even the, there is no dignity. But let us continue. If he does get killed, you turn in your heels. Mm -hmm. 
This is what the verse is saying. If he got killed, let us go to the Arabic. If he die or got killed, <laughs> the word die or got killed, is, they put the word got killed, but they took off the word if he died. Why? Because Muhammad got killed. And if we keep it as it is, if Muhammad die or get killed, that's mean Allah do not know if Muhammad will die or he will get killed, he will die normally. When we say died, it's mean he died. It's mean not, you know, like normal death. This is why it says, if he die or get killed, not like die by getting killed, no. Die or, oh, you see between the two Arabic words, for those who speak Arabic, it says, oh, which means either or others, or, or. Now, if we change the translation again, we will find in different translation, oh, sorry, I, it's, my, it's my fault, I, I, I missed it here. I, uh, I, yeah, I jumped here. It says, actually, it says, I apologize. It's my fault. I just noticed it. If he dies or get killed, I was wondering how in the world they want to take even this one. It, like I understand about the messengers before him, they die because that will, you know, uh, uh, all of them, they die because that will show a clear, clear introduction in the Quran. But it says that. So I apologize for this one. If he dies or get killed. Okay, what kind of God you do not know if he will die or get killed? <laughs> the Muslim, they say that the Quran predict things is going to happen 2000 after. But the Quran cannot predict if Muhammad will die or get killed because Muhammad is the one who made this verse. He do not know how he will die. He have millions of enemies. He killed thousands of people. And usually when you kill, you will be killed. The Bible says the one who take by the sword, by the sword will be taken. And this is exactly what happened to Muhammad was killed by poison. Here we go. <clears throat> Let us see the verse or the Yeah, you know, because everything they uh, every single verse we read, they take something out of it. So I did miss that one. Okay, as summary the occult. Here we go. Aisha, she said, this is Aisha, the wife of Muhammad. She said, the prophet in his element which he died, used to say, oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. Khaybar are the Jews tribe, which Muhammad he slaughtered. A woman who lost her family, she put poison for Muhammad. And Muhammad, supposedly according to the story, after he started eating and one of his friends next to him sitting died from the poison immediately uh, 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 Muhammad he said uh, the Muslim they claim that the, the, the goat told him I have poison why because Allah want to save him and Muhammad he said to her Allah will not make you he said to her why you did that he said to kill you if you are a false prophet you will be killed if you are a true prophet God will save you he said to her, Allah will not let you do that. You can go and watch a video of a sheikh, his name Yasser al-Habib. He's a Shia sheikh, yes, but he is reading for you all the, the, the reference about this story, how this is impossible that it is, this has happened. Because if this has happened, and you can watch the video, that's mean Muhammad is a false prophet. Because Muhammad, he says, Allah will not let you be able to do so, which means to kill me. And later Muhammad died by the same poison. And if the Muslim they say Muhammad is wrong, that will be amazing to see a Muslim saying Muhammad is wrong. Isn't it? Hey Muslims, was Muhammad wrong about how he died? Say yes, so we can laugh. I feel as my altar 
is being cut off from the poison. And this is connected to other verse in the Quran, which says that if Muhammad is lying or fabricating, <clears throat> we will cut his artery. And now the Muslim, they will say to you, oh, this is not the, the word, uh, uh, the same, al -Watin. it is the same. We can go to dictionary. <clears throat> In chapter 69, verse number 46, Muhammad, he said that Allah told him that Muhammad is a messenger and if he is lying about us, we are going to cut his artery. Now, this translation here says his lifeline. If you change it as usual, you know, if you change the translation or translator, you will find different new, new Quran as usual. You know, new Quran. Each time you, you change translation, you will find a new Quran. It's a, like it's a miraculous uh, translation. I don't know why the it's not open. Hold on. Uh, oh, here was, we have to go here. Sorry. Um, see, his orta. So if Muhammad is lying. We are going to cut his order but actually in this chapter here you will see how muhammad he exposed himself again so who is muhammad muhammad is the one who made the quran who said that christian prince no it is the quran if you go to the verse before it verse number 40 it says this is verily the word of an honored messenger between two bracket, listen carefully. Between two bracket, I E Jibril <laughs> or Muhammad. I mean, look at this. Look at this religion. They do not know what they are talking about. Is it Jibril or Muhammad? People are accusing Muhammad that he is a false man. So why why it is Jibril? Because it's embarrassing. If they say this is the word of Muhammad, that's mean the Quran is the word of Muhammad. But look, they try to fix it. They make it more horrible. Now the Quran is the word of Jibreel. <laughs> and then he says here, which he has brought to him from Allah. Where it says that in the verse? It says here in Arabic, in Arabic Very simple, three words. How three words became a story? Because they have to fabricate, they have to make it. I mean, it doesn't make sense. In Arabic, it says it is the speech of honorable messenger, generous message messenger. Okay, so Muhammad is a generous man. He gave us a speech. This is the Quran. If you change the translation, this is Hilali and Khan. If we change it, we will find a new Quran as usual. Let us see Big Tal. Hmm? Look how it happened. 50% of the words or nobody maybe 70% is gone. It is indeed as the speech of a messenger. Generous messenger. It's not a poet speech. It is a speech of Muhammad. Because Muhammad, he could not make a, a poet. Quran is something called Saja. Saja is like rap. Those who cannot do poetry because they don't have the skills of poetry, they do what is less in the Arabic speech or literature, which is called saja. And in certain time, people, they used to practice this every day. Like you say, you know, uh, uh, there is there is something it's called saja or kohan. Maybe we should make uh, a special study about it. If we go in the hadith, even Muhammad, he forbid them from practicing saja. Here you will see how Muhammad, he was listening to those people who make what is look, the same as the Quran, but is way better. The Quran is just, you know, Muhammad tried to keep the term like, you know, uh, uh, he, he, he doesn't say we want to add at the end of the word. Let's give you an example. Let's give you an example. Just to show you how we strip it, his statement, his, his Arabic is so weak, it's so horrible. <clears throat> When you have nothing to say, you repeat the same sentence. Isn't it obvious? 
So if we go on and uh, uh, and search the Quran, <clears throat> we will find that the Quran is nothing but repeated speeches all over. All over. We find we can find the same even sentence repeated, the same sentence, the whole thing. As an example, this verse. And this is an example, not limited. This is why you might find the same verse is all over the Quran. And you ask yourself, why Allah keeps saying the same verse? What is the point? Even sometimes the same verse is repeated in the same chapter, not like all over the Quran. It's in the same chapter. You see, I can see a speech of Jesus in the book of Mark. And then I will see the same speech in the book of Luke or John, because they are different book. But to have the same in the same chapter, is one of the most ridiculous, stupid Arabic. What is this? What is that? You tell me. This is God talking. So a man who have illiteracy, not in writing or reading, he is illiterate, he, he, he's not a poetry man. So in that verse in the Quran, Muhammad, he admitted that he is the one who made the Quran. They said to him, you are a person trying to make a point, but your point is stupid. It's not, it's not working. It's not good. Muhammad, he said to them, indeed, this is a speech of a great messenger. Now, if we add what the Muslim, they try to, to make it look like, this is the word of Jibreel, that means the Quran is the word of Jibreel. If they say, this is the word of Jibreel coming from Allah, that would be more stupid because it says here, it is indeed the speech of a messenger. If Jibreel is the one who carried the speech, that does not make it his speech, that will make it a message. A messenger giving a speech is different from a messenger telling what God said. I can give you a speech, but that might not, will not make my speech a Bible. Will not make my speech the word of Jesus. John, he can give a speech. John said, but doesn't make him God said. So the Quran is saying it clearly, this is nothing but the word of a Muhammad. Yet, he is not. Wala bi qawli kohan kahin. You see, even we mentioned to you the Saj al Kohan, the Quran says, obviously, they are accusing him to use Saj, which is what, what, what people who they call them uh, uh, in certain names, they use it always. And that's what Muhammad he mentioned in the Hadith. When he hear, heard somebody making great speech using Saj, he said, ah. Oh, he seems to be one of the, the brothers of his uh, soothe savior. I don't know if I would say the word correctly. Which is very popular way of his speak in Arabic at that time. It's a rap. It's, and you know, it's nothing, nothing but a rap. But the difference between Muhammad rap and the Quran rap that Arab they used to make a, something make sense from the rap. Muhammad he just put things together and they come so stupid. Like as an example, if we go back to this one, what is the connection between the verse before it and the verse after it? Nothing. He has created the man. He has taught him the the bayan. You see you see you will notice that he is adding at the end the letter N. This is letter noon. N. Let us type it for you.
So all those are the same letter. Ar-Rahman, he taught the Quran, he created the insan, he taught him the bayan, al-shamsu wal-qamaru bi-husban, al-najmu wa shajar yasjudan, you know, the, the stars and the, and the trees, they bow down, and, uh, and, uh, and the sky, he rifted with, this, with, with Mizan. Uh, like he was talking about the sky, it's make it with measure. And down he says, don't, don't, and don't play with the measure. <laughs> Which means like when you sell and when you buy. And then, and, and observe the, the scale and, and, and don't play with the, with the scale. Like what, the, what does it have to do with this? What the creating the stars and sorry the 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 trees and the the the, the, the stars bow down to Allah. Allah He lift up the sky, He put it in a scale, and then don't play with the scale, and don't fabricate with it, and don't take from it, and then. Now He He switch because now He's out of words. You see the letter N is is gone. There's no N, M. The letter now is M. Because he could not find more close to N except M. <laughs> and then, So he, he made the earth a flat for, for the people, okay, for the creatures. And then he put for it uh, fruits, uh, you know, uh, you know, like palm trees, you know, Zatul uh, Akmam, you know, it have like sleeves. And, uh, uh, and and the seed and the grain and 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 the good smell, <laughs> and then he starts saying the following drama. So, in which of the favor of your God you deny? What does have to do with this? He started saying he created the man, and then suddenly he again come back to created the man. He created the man from a clay. And you see, he could not even keep the rap. And now because he's out of words, you see the last letter here? The last letter, he started breaking the term. So here it was N, letter, letter noon we told you. Here is R, here is R, and then he's go back to N. And then he says al mughribin but al mughribin doesn't fit with, with to Kathiban. The sound is not the same. The Lord of the two east and the two west, since when we have two east, two west, because Muhammad and his time, people, they think that the reason the east the, uh, change between winter and summer, there's two east and there's two, two, two west. And then suddenly he jump, he says, Marjul Bahrini Yaltaqiyan, look, what the heck? He lose the two seas. Huh? And they never meet. There is a barrier between them. This is another stupid statement. Muhammad, he just confessed that he believed that the salty water and the fresh water, they never met. Why? Because they are two different body of water. And this is why he said he called them even two seas. Since when the fresh water is a sea? And he keep repeating, in which of the favor of your Lord you deny? In which of the favor of your Lord you deny? If we copy this one here, and we search it in the top. Look what we will find. When you are empty, and you're trying to make a book, this would happen. And here he challenged that genie and human being, they can go out of the earth. But as we knew, Human, they went out of the earth. Already we have, right now, we have people live out of this, in the space. They live literally, full-time living. Yet Muhammad is challenging people to go. So, and if you try to go out, Allah will burn you, brother. He will shoot you. He will burn you from fire and copper. So you will not be victorious. You cannot escape. You can't escape where? You can't escape the earth. So, Muhammad as a person in the Quran, we cannot find him. If we search for the word Muhammad all over the Quran, we will find it appear in a few places and nowhere it says who is this man.
Who is Muhammad? Any Muslim can tell us? Muhammad is a man. He said, any woman she want to give herself to me so I can do boom boom with her. The best of the booty, the most beautiful women, the treasure of the earth. And the rest is just to complete what I want. Allah is a tool. Allah said, Allah said, Allah said, any woman she gonna give herself to me. What's wrong? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? So Muhammad he used God in order to give himself a privilege. Look. Even he made it clear, it's a privilege for you only, not for the rest of the believers. So Muhammad, he used the word God to receive a privilege and all cult leaders, they share the same thing. They have a privilege upon others. A privilege of how many wives he can have, a privilege of how many women she can offer themselves without marriage. Just you know, like word marriage. What the word marriage is you marry a woman to have a family. Those women are offering themselves for what purpose? And why they want to offer themselves? And why a man he have 13 women already in his bedroom and thousands of sex slaves? He need more to offer themselves. The reason is very simple. This man is like a crazy Hitler he want everything he want to see women fighting over him he want his wife get jealous to see women offering themselves and this is why you see Aisha even herself and it, and it worked for sure Aisha his favorite wife she got in fire she said to him I see that your Lord, your God, is hastened for your desire, Muhammad. Even she said to him, you the one who claimed to be a prophet. You the one who claimed to be a prophet. Aisha, she knew he's a scam. If we go here, you see that Muhammad plan is working. Women are going now to get jealous. Women offering themselves for a man who is, he become a prophet and their king. By doing that, they will get a free food. They will not be worried about shelter. They will not be worried about hunger in the time of there's no jobs, there's nothing. Women who need, Muhammad, he can now give them their needs. How? Take off your panty. When Aisha, she said to him, you is the one who claimed to be a prophet. Claim to be a prophet. You know, if somebody called me right now and he's a Muhammad and he said, a Christian prince, you are the one who claimed to be a scholar. Obviously he's saying, I am not scholar. I'll try to find the hadith of Aisha. Let us see. <clears throat> um. Yeah, and for sure, the Muslim they will say, uh, they will say, this is weak hadith, brother. No, let us see. And remember, supposedly we disable the chat to make the video short, but it's impossible.
let us see. Let us see this one. But I don't think we will find this one in English, but we can find it in Arabic for sure. I have it in Arabic already, actually. Yeah. Let us do this. Uh, one of the things happened with Muhammad that because he's a fraud, he cannot be just. This is the book of Majma al Zawaid. The book of Ephin, even the name, the book of Ephin, the chapter of the women jealousy. What the chapter? Women jealousy. What page? 322. Aren't you the one who claimed to be a prophet? She said to him, you know. This is about Muhammad not being just with his wives. The wives are complaining Muhammad is a fraud. He, he told Muslim to be just with their wives, but he himself cannot be just. So she said to him, and this is here a story about, this is not, once it's being mentioned by Safiya and once it's mentioned by Aisha. This time here is by Safiya, supposedly. Uh... Aisha reporting here. This is the this is here the the you know there they became two parties, the party of Aisha and the party of Sophia, and actually the rest of the wives. And those two parties are fighting over power with the man who increased the jealousy, and he wanted them to do that. He enjoy it. He liked to see two women fighting, and he can he, you know he can enjoy it over him. So here the story is saying, Muhammad, he said to, 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 uh, 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 to his wife, she said to him, aren't you the one who claimed to be a messenger of Allah? Aren't you the one who claimed? He smiled and he says, are you in doubt of that? Are you? She said, again, Aren't you the one who claimed to be a messenger of Allah? So how, what about you became, you, you, you do just then? How about you do just? Have you ever heard of a prophet of Allah? He is unjust. They are asking him to be just. That's all. Let us see if we can translate. So you will notice right away that the wives of Muhammad they knew he is a fa is a false, he's a fraud. Otherwise, why they are asking him, aren't you the prophet? Aren't you the one who messenger of Allah? And Muhammad, he says, huh, are you in doubt? Are you? You're sure she is. She said, are you not claiming that you are messenger of God? Have you been justed, justified? You know, the translation is, 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 is wrong. Have, have you been practicing justice? So how you can be a messenger of Allah and you are unjust? So she is saying to him in his face, you are nothing but a fraud. For if you are a prophet of Allah, you will be just. Actually, we can find similar story in the English translation. <clears throat> Let us see if we can find it in English. The wives are fighting over Muhammad. <clears throat> uh, 
All right, uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, I want to find you the exact hadith. There's many, many, you know, dummy stories, but we want to find the one which we are looking for here. <clears throat> Let us see where we will find it. I don't like to mention something without putting it in the screen. Let us see. Give me a minute. If we don't show it now, we will show it in the coming live preview, live uh, program. But I prefer still to find it right now. Uh, <clears throat> Even they ask his daughter to speak to him. To be just and then he says la to Aisha don't hurt me in Aisha I'm just searching let us see You know, uh, because we we uh, we show the th stories in the screen, and still they say it's not true. Uh. Let us see. I know it's taking long, but I apologize. Sometime it come right away. Sometime, because this search engine is really bad. <clears throat> I think now we will find it. All right. Here we go. Again, we have. Oops. Oh, by mistake. Uh, we apologize for taking long to find it, but we better find it better than nothing because they will say this is not true. Here you will see that the wives of Muhammad became two parties. Who is saying that? The Muslims. Who is saying that? Aisha. Who is reporting that? The Muslims. Who is printing it? Who translated the Muslims? The Muslim in the chat now, or sorry, in the in the comment section, they will say is lying. It's not true. The wives of Allah Messenger were two parties, two groups. One group consists of Aisha, Hafsa, Safiya, and Sauda, and the other group consists of Ummu Salama, etc. What the problem? The problem that all the gifts go to Aisha. Those women are under the control of Aisha. Aisha is the boss. Aisha should take all the gifts. Aisha should steal all the money which is coming to the house. And we are talking about jewelries because Muhammad is an official who take a bribe every day. You see the Muslim, they say to you, Muhammad, he died, he was poor. So what they are fighting about? They are fighting over gifts. <laughs> I mean, if imagine if Muhammad was alive today. Just imagine how much gifts he will receive. 
So all the gifts, they go to Aisha. The Muslim knew that Allah Messenger loved Aisha. So if any, and hold on, I thought Muhammad, he marry women and he is just with them. So he love one and he don't love the rest. This is a sign of justice. So why he marry them? This is his favorite child wife. So if any of them had a gift and wished to give that to Allah Messenger, he would delay it till Allah Messenger had come to Aisha. But do you ask yourself why? Because when you give the gift to the house of Aisha, Aisha, she asked Muhammad to do what the guy who gave the gift want. She have a huge influence on him. She is his Barbie for sex. So if you want, you are giving the gifts as a bribe. Not because he's a prophet, but because he's in charge. So they knew that the one who can force what they want happen is Aisha because they practice it. As you see, they knew that the one he loved is Aisha. But what does this have to do with the gift you want to give it to the prophet? I mean, are you giving it to Aisha or to the prophet? It is to Aisha because Aisha is the one who will make Muhammad do what you want. It's a bribe. So the wives, they are saying, why you can't be just? So they keep coming to him one after one. The group of Ummu Salama discussed the matter together and decide that Ummu Salama should request Allah Messenger to tell the people to send their gift to, uh, to him in whenever a wife he is, whatever house he is. That makes sense. If the, if the gift is to Muhammad, why you want to give it only to the house of Aisha? Whatever he is, send the gift to him. No, it doesn't work this way. Ummu Salama told Allah Messenger that they had said but he, he did not reply. They told him, they, they, they complained. He did not even reply. Shut up. Let them give the gift in the house of Aisha. Then those who wives asked Umm Salama about it. She said, he did not say anything to me. I told him. They asked her to talk to him again. And again, and again. And even they sent his daughter. which is not really his daughter. But she grew up in his house when she was young, the daughter of Khadija. And when they came to him the last time, Muhammad cannot take it no more. He says, don't hurt me regarding Aisha. The divine inspiration come to me only in the clothes of Aisha. The translation says the bed. In Arabic, it says thawb which mean the cloth of Aisha. And here Muhammad again, he get himself busted because if the house of Aisha is where he received inspiration only, that's mean any inspiration he received in different house was false. Isn't it the first inspiration received in the house of Khadija? And isn't it the inspiration received in every woman house? Why, why, why Aisha only? Because he have a naked teenage girl or a child, six years old naked girl in the front of him that bring inspiration. So what this have to do with hurt me in Aisha? You hurt me in Aisha. So this man is possessed in a sexual way, money, power, and he is always unjust and evil even inside his house. And when one day even Aisha herself went against him, for he was cheating all over the place. Muhammad, he made a verse in the Quran saying that Allah said to me, in fact, it was Umar who said to him. If you don't repent, in which way? Obey Muhammad became subdued to him again. You know, don't question what he do.
Let us open the verse. And I find this verse actually one of the most hilarious verses in the Quran. If you, both of you, turn into Allah in repentance, between two brackets, you have cause to do so, for your heart desired the ban. What is that translation? What the Quran is saying that Aisha and Hafsa they became kuffar. Your heart declain Allah order to obey Allah. Change the translator. You will find a new Quran. This is Bektal. We go to Hilali and Khan. Look at this. Miraculous. If the two wives of Allah, Messenger between bracket, Aisha and Hafsa, turn and repentance to Allah, why? Repent in what? It will be better for you. Uh huh. Your heart are indeed inclined. You are far away from Allah. You all became kuffar. You have to repent. But if you help one another against him, who? Muhammad. Verily Allah is his protector. And Jibreel. And every righteous among the believers, and furthermore the angels, all of this to fight to women. You see how this man he think? He involved God in his house affair. Two wives of his wives are angry from his behavior, for he is a cheater, he's a liar, he's a fraud. They cannot take it no more. Even the wife who he let her have all the gifts. She's against him now. And he cannot deal with them. He's a weak in the character. They say to you, he's a leader. Muhammad, he never go to war, actually. Muhammad was always in the back. He never was a leader. He was the coward who sent you to die, and he watched from far away. If Muhammad was a strong man, why he need to involve Allah and look how many people he need their support against two women they are not even five foot tall if you help one against the other okay verily Allah is his protector the translation is so long let us uh, see a different one shorter translation maybe let us see Yusuf Ali <laughs> I mean their translation is really really hilarious This is shorter. So if you turn in repentance to him, your heart are indeed incli inclined. But if you back each other against him, truly, truly Allah is a protector, protector from two women. Is that enough? No. And Jibreel, Jibreel is coming in the war. Is that enough? No. And furthermore, every righteous Muslim. Is that enough? No. And furthermore, the angels, look, the whole galaxy is involved in the fight of Muhammad with his wives. This is how he fraud he is. So Muhammad, the character, is a person who used God to control others. He could not control them by saying to them, don't do this, don't do that, I'm sick of you. He could not even dare to divorce them because they are the daughters of most important men who sponsor him. So what we do? We make a verse says God says do, do this or else God are you going to go against God now do you dare to go say no and Allah said to Muhammad if he divorce you or exchange you because Arab they used to exchange women you take my wife I take yours I'm sick of my wife do you like to take her give me your wife I'll give you my wife even they used to do it for part-time if you read my book, Six and Allah. They have a very open sexual life. Even they used to, like, if you want to have a son who is handsome, you ask your wife, or let us say from a noble family, you want to have a son from a noble family. You ask your wife to go, and you talk to a man who is a noble man, to sleep with your wife, to have her there, until she come back and she have a baby in her, in her belly.
They used even to have flags over their tents to welcome men for sex. This is the Arab society. And nothing changed, by the way, until now. I mean, they are the most... They speak about good and decency. But if you go in the Middle East, you will find how routing the society is. So Muhammad is a man to make this video come to end. A man of a privilege. And the privilege is about him and only him. Women, they can give themselves. Women offer themselves for sex. Allah is in his side against women. If women, they are not obeying. The best of the booty. The best of anything have to do with value of material. He been given the keys of the treasure of this earth. Even he said he will marry his God. He married him to the mother of Jesus. Can you believe it? Let me find the hadith. This man is mentally ill. He want everyone in his bed, even the one who passed away before him, even the wife of the Pharaoh, even the sister of Moses, even the mother of Jesus. I'm trying to find the hadith. <clears throat> Let us see. We will see if we can fight in English first. If not, no, we cannot fight in English. Let us see it in Arabic then. All right. From Abi Dawood, Muhammad, he entered upon his wife Khadija when she was dying. And then he said to her, Hey, Khadija, in your way, he's making fun of her, obviously. Say hello. I mean, your wife is dying, and now it's time to say to her this. Look what he said to her. He said to her, uh, Don't forget to say hello to my wives in heaven. She said to him, you married people before me? This is here. Now we are, I'm, I'm not reading. I'm telling the story. She said to him, did you marry women before me? He said, no, but Allah, he promised me. Those women in heaven, who are they? This is the book of Ibn Kathir. The book of the stories of the prophets. Ibn Kathir, very number two. Page number two, 382. Now we use Google Translation because we have no choice. And Ibn Asaka narrated that from the Hadith of etc. etc. from Ibn Abbas, blah, 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 etc. It says that the Messenger of Allah, he said, he entered into Khadija while she was in her illness, to, to which, which she died. She's dying. And he said, "Oh Khadija, if you met, uh, 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 if I met your, uh, you know, in your way, if I don't give you a, a trouble, say hello to my wives in heaven." See the translation; he is not good. So he, she said, "Oh Messenger of Allah, you married before me." He said, "No, but God married me, Maryam, the daughter of Amran, the mother of Jesus, and Asiya, <laughs> and Kalthum." Musa's sister. Kathum is Musa's sister? Hmm. <laughs> because Muhammad was confused about who is Maryam. Hmm. Here you see a real character of a man who is obsessed of having all women in his bed. 
all famous women they have to go to their knee why Muhammad he want to marry the sister of Moses and where is she now oh she's in heaven why Muhammad he want the mother of Jesus what he have to do with the women of Pharaoh his wife or his sister what is the intention the intention is that everybody belong to me even the one who pass away is sick he's mentally ill I will pause the link for this I will make a short and because there is Arabic and that will make it extremely impossible to post in YouTube so I'm going to post a link for this hadith in the in the info let me do it right now so we don't forget later because people they might say to me where we can find that so who is Muhammad Muhammad is a perverted man he have one target sex women money and him after all everything is about him Allah and the angels and everybody praying on Muhammad who is praying on Muhammad everybody Allah and this is the one the Muslim they try to, to fix it they says he Allah he pray for not to everyone everything Allah pray on Muhammad and it's coming as a present verse or verb and here they say is the translation Allah he sent salat between two bracket the grass grace graces honors blessing everything Allah he have nothing to do except Muhammad actually there's a hadith it says if not Muhammad Allah will not created the world already I have the link for the book of Ibn Kathir about Muhammad marrying from Mary but remember it's in Arabic in the info of this video if you remember the hadith where it says and this will be the final hadith I will close with otherwise we will and supposedly I was trying to make it short all right If not you, Muhammad, Allah created nothing. Who told that? Muhammad. Allah told him, he sent him Jibreel. And Jibreel, he said to him, that Allah said to me to tell you, indeed, the Prophet of Allah, look at the question, what the, what the respect of ulama, which means the scholars, and the Sharia, the Islamic law, about this hadith. If not you, nothing was created. You are the reason of every creation. So the answer is, indeed, the Prophet of Allah, Allah pray on him, is the reason for of the creation of Adam and Eve and the universe, is the reason to create the, 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 the tablet of Allah, the chair of Allah, the throne of Allah, is the reason to create the, 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 the pen, the sky, the earth, the heaven, the hell, the trees, the stones, everything created for the sake of Muhammad. So are we getting conclusion who is Muhammad? Muhammad wanted to be God. Allah is a servant of Muhammad, not Muhammad is a servant of Allah. Why Allah he created for Muhammad? Why Allah do work for Muhammad? What is the purpose of Allah himself having a chair? Muhammad. Why Allah have a throne? Muhammad. Why Allah he created anything? Muhammad. Why all the creatures, me and you, even the deer, even a frog, even a cockroach, why is exist Muhammad? And if you are not convinced that this is all clear proof that this man is mentally ill, he is a person who tried to be God in this earth. And he was successful 
to be God for more than a billion human beings. If you don't see it clearly after all what we showed you, I guarantee you that you yourself need to see a shrink. Allah said to Isa, which is supposed to Jesus, what he said to him? He said to him, O oh Isa, tell the people, your people, to obey Muhammad, to obey Muhammad. Why? What about obeying Jesus? No. But Muhammad was not in the time of Jesus. How they can obey him? <laughs> Look at those stories. Even Adam, when Allah he created him, he lift up his eyes. As you see here, the Prophet of Allah said, Allah said when Adam made a mistake, commit sin, not mistake. He asked Allah, I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Adam is asking Allah for the sake of Muhammad. Allah, he said, oh Adam, how do you recognize Muhammad when I have not created him yet? Adam said, <laughs> Hello, when you created me and blow into my into me the spirit, I lifted up my head and I saw written on the arsh, which means the chair, that la, there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Allah he wrote that before he created Adam. So Adam is not created yet. Allah he made a chair. This is the plan. I will create a man. His name is Muhammad, and I will spend my eternity serving him. Starting from my chair, I will write his name in my chair. There's no God but Allah, and there is no prophet but Muhammad. His name is next to Allah. Muhammad, he associates his name with God. And here we arrive to his name. Muhammad means the praised one, which means God. For only God to be praised. When you praise a man, you are pagan, unless this man is God in earth. Praise one, the praised one. There's no praise two, there's no praise three. There's the praised one, Muhammad. Muhammad is not even a name, it is a title. So who is Muhammad? If any Muslim can show me one verse in the Quran, it show us who is Muhammad, where he was born. What his father name? Who was his mother? In which year? Which tribe he is born of? It is nothing. Muhammad is another name of a previous cult leader. His name, Manny. I know many of you never heard of him, but you will find that all the stories of Muhammad is stolen and coming from Manny. Manny, he claimed to be Christ. Manny, he claimed to be the praised one. Many he was successful and his religion grew in the Middle East. And hundreds of thousands believe in him. At that time, hundreds of thousands, like saying millions. Many. If we read the stories about many, we will find tons of things. Almost it is copy paste of Muhammad. And Mani is exist way before Muhammad. So we cannot say that Mani is copying Muhammad. So I will not be surprised if one day we found that Muhammad was nothing but Mani. And they copy his story and they make it about a fiction man. His name is Muhammad. It can be true. It can be false. It can be theory. It can be what it can be. But we cannot deny one thing. That there's a lot of stories taken from Mani placed on a guy whose name is Muhammad, who we do not know who is he. And if the Muslim, they want to say to us, we have the books of Hadith. Do you accept the books of Hadith to be legitimate? 
or you pick up your cherries they pick up their cherries and why Allah in the Quran he says who is Jesus he is son of Mary who is Miriam she is the son of Amran but he will not say to us who is Muhammad Muhammad actually in the Quran he have nothing to do with mankind you see in, in, in the book of John Jesus said I am from above and Muhammad he tried to be the one from above if you go to chapter 33 verse number 40 it says Muhammad is not the father of any of your men but he is Allah messenger He's a different creature. He is not from this earth. He have nothing to do with your men. He was not the father of any of you. He is a messenger of God. He is from above. Muhammad, he worshipped himself. Regardless if he believed that he is God or not, but he is acting as one. And when the second you believe in him, you became subdued and a slave of Muhammad, not a slave of Allah. Which one is more important? Obeying Allah or obeying Muhammad? Muhammad. The Quran says something, Muhammad says the opposite. We follow Muhammad. Every single verse, Muhammad, he make it clear that the one who obey me, he obey Allah. But Muslims, isn't it Muhammad a sinner? And he commits sin? Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, may Allah forgive to you your sin to come and the sin in the past? Hmm? open license for sin so how we can obey a person who is a sinner and how Muhammad he made such a mistake saying that Allah may forgive his sin for the past and the one to come if Allah is talking Allah is saying to Allah may Allah forgive your sin it's a stupid statement Muhammad trying to wash himself because people they knew he's a fraud they knew his history. It's like a guy who lived in the town. Everybody he knew he's a loser. And then suddenly he claimed to be the best. So what he would say? May Allah forgive your sin in the past and the one to come. So he knew he's a sinner, bad person in the past, and bad person in the future. So he said, Allah told me, Allah may forgive your sin. If Allah is talking, how Allah may forgive your sin? Obviously, this is a prayer. Muhammad is saying that I am Allah. Speaking to Allah, Allah is saying to Allah, which is me, that Allah may forgive your sin in the one in the past and the one to come. But then how we can obey a person, how we can believe that by obeying a person who commits sin in the past and in the future, we obey Allah. Is obeying a sinner, is obeying Allah? Yes, for Muhammad is Allah. The whole purpose of Muhammad is to have a privilege. That is the privilege of God, the sexual God, the God who loves money. So obeying Muhammad, whoever obey the messenger is obeying Allah. Muhammad made it clear that he is Allah. You better be subdued to me. 
and that is the devil. Thank you for watching. Feel free to download the video. And we, did, we disabled the chat. Supposed it will make the video shorter. But as you see, mission is impossible to paint a paint without, I mean, you want to make an image and full image. And it's impossible to make it short. Not for me. Because information, they will come from everywhere. And I find that I have to add this and I have to add that so you can understand better. That is Muhammad, the one you follow. He is your God. Stop fooling yourself. The man of the privilege. And his privilege is uh, uh, the book of Ibn al-Arabi or Ibn al-Arabi, he said that the Prophet have 16 privilege. Almost 10 of them is about money and sex. One of them is if, um, if, uh, if Muhammad, he, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Is what? Her husband must divorce her. For sure, why not? If the angels, if the believers, if Allah, if everybody is a praying in Muhammad, Muhammad is the center of the universe. Allah created everything for Muhammad. Not a single thing in this earth isn't created for Muhammad. So what is left? What is left is to become a slave. Even women who pass away before Muhammad, even women, just because they are well-known, famous women, this man, he is sick, he wants to have them, even if they are dead. The women of the Pharaoh, the sister of Musa, the mother of Jesus. If Muhammad exists now, you can add long list of names to his wish. So I will leave the decision for you. And I challenge the Muslims to post comment have to do with the topic. Because what they do, and watch what I will say. Jesus is not God. What are talking about Jesus? We're in the Bible says Jesus is God. Where Jesus says God worship me. We're not talking about Jesus. So they cannot answer. I challenge the Muslim as an example to tell me why Allah he promised Muhammad to marry him, the mother of Jesus. The sister of Musa or the wife of the Pharaoh. Why? Give me a reason. He did not have enough sex or to insult Jesus. The Muslim, they say to us, Muhammad, he respect Jesus. Do you respect Jesus by sleeping with his mother? Is Muhammad trying to establish a family? What is the purpose of this? The purpose is a sick person who believe he have a privilege and all women have to sleep with him. Famous women, important women. He want to strip those men from their honor. I am going to sleep with your sister. I'm going to sleep with your mother. I'm going to sleep with your wife. For I am Muhammad the rapist. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy learning. Copy the video, download it, share it, because we don't keep it as you know. God bless you. And don't forget to leave your comment, especially Muslims who comment about nothing have to do with the topic, as usual. And by the way, you will see Muslims saying, why you don't dare to debate this guy and this guy? It is you who don't dare. Where are you? None of you can debate about anything. You are a person who follow the person who he claimed that everything created for him. You are just a software programmed by Allah to be a tool in the hand of Muhammad. In other way, what the difference between you and anything is programmed? Nothing. The reason for existence of you is to worship Muhammad. The reason for existence of your God is Muhammad. What if there is no Muhammad? What Allah will do? All the work Allah did for Muhammad. So if there is no Muhammad, there is no Allah. <laughs>
I mean, how in the world this has become a religion? How in the world anyone can believe in such a fraud? Name one thing about Muhammad is right. Nothing. If his eyes fall into your wife, the man he have to divorce his wife so the prophet can have her immediately. Cult leaders never change. All of them are the same. They want your money, sex, and power. And if you're a fool, you're a fool. And if a foolish man like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Thank you very much. Take care.